Penny's and Pins. I'm on my on the train, um, leaving Seoul to head to the Gimpo Airport. I got some linen in my hair, um, and on the way to get onto the train, I broke the you know the handle where you can roll your bag. I broke it and literally had to like take it apart and throw it away. So ghetto. Um, but I made it onto the train and I only have a couple of stops left until I arrive at the airport. So it's, it's a buzzkill, but I think I'll be able to deal with it for the most part um, as far as actually getting myself back to Dallas because I don't want to buy another piece of luggage to replace that. Um, I may end up doing it when I get to Jeju, we'll see. But yeah, I got checked out of the hotel with no problems. Last night before I left the vegan restaurant, I bought some ramen. So I ate that before I left the room. That worked out. So yeah, y'all, it's just been an interesting morning because I woke up a little too early and then I couldn't really fall back asleep. And then I think I was like excited to get to Jeju. So yeah, so anyways, I'm on the train and like I said, I have a couple of stops until I get to the airport. But yeah, my bags are just heavy as hell because I just didn't realize how bad of an idea it was to try to lug the bag down those stairs uh, with all those KPS. Thank you, have a good day. <laughs> this nice Korean man just was speaking to me. He was like, have a good day. I was like, okay. Um, Cause I'm sure he was probably fascinated. Like where is this black woman going with all these luggage to the airport? Um, but yeah, so it's just one of those things when you travel in, nothing is gonna go the way you plan it. I mean, I wasn't planning to buy all these K-pop albums, but I did. And that's why that bag is so freaking heavy in the first place. So let's just pray that when I get to the airport that it's not oversized and I don't have any issues checking it. Yeah, because I believe I'm able to check two bags at the um, with Korean Air, to which the airline I'm taking to Jeju. And then I know I can take two bags for free when I fly back to Dallas with American. So I should be good as long as the bag is not oversized. That's my biggest concern. And I know the hotel is probably looking at me crazy. Like, why is this girl taking the train? I take the train because it's so much cheaper, pennies and pens. Like, I don't like to spend a lot of money on the transportation. I like to spend money on the hotel, food, and shopping. But you gonna get to the airport whether you take the train or whether you take the uh, t a taxi or a fancy car service. So, yeah. But when I get to Jeju, I mean, I'm gonna take the taxi from that airport because um, it's cheap. So, but this one, I was like not sure how much it was gonna cost. I thought it was gonna be expensive. And then the, the train line that was right near the Four Seasons takes you directly to the airport that I'm going to. There's two different airports here in Seoul. There's the uh, Incheon International Airport and the Gimpo International Airport. And I'm taking the Gimpo International Airport to my flight to Jeju. So that, I only have to take one train. So I was like, as long as I can get my shit through the train station, which I ended up doing, I'll be able to get to the airport fine. So I only have like one more stop, so let me make sure I know where I'm going. And then, yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching. This is the last day, loud and soul. Bye, soul. Have fun. Peace. I had fun. Thanks for watching. Peace. Pennies and pants made it inside of the Gimpo International Airport. Had to pay 211,000 Korean won because both my bags were oversized, apparently. And paid it done smart thing that i did was i brought a ton of usd cash to korea and then exchanged it at the four seasons for won and the, that's been saving me because because of the exchange rate um, usd is worth a little bit more so when i exchange usd for korean won gets me a little bit further so luckily i was able to use that korean won to pay for the check bags um, which is awesome because if I would have had to pay on my debit card then I would have to pay basically get it transferred over to USD and then have to pay that foreign rate adjustment fee which FYI banks you need to get rid of that foreign rate adjustment fee because it's unfair because when you're in another country and you're paying for something in their currency that's what it is. You should be charged whatever that 
currency. It's it's like I don't know because it's it feels like you end up getting charged more when you use your credit or debit card because then you end up end up basically paying it in USD, which is worth more than one. Then you got to pay that foreign rate adjustment fee. So if you just transfer cash, USD cash into one or whatever place you travel into internationally, it makes more sense. So, because 200,000, 211,000 Korean won I Googled is $153 USD. So again, if I would have had to pay that on my debit card on USD, then I'd have paid $150 plus that foreign rate adjustment fee. But kind of paying it in one don't feel as bad. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm just giving her cash. I'm getting rid of it. And then at the, um, hotel they kept giving me all these coins and I have all these Korean won coins so hopefully I can eventually get rid of those but I don't know the lady at the thing that the, she was just kind of acting straight up funny towards me for real because she wanted to see my itinerary from Dallas and my boarding pass I was like lady I had a paper boarding pass I threw it away I don't know where it is I'm like I had obviously I got to Korea some kind of way <laughs> you know what I mean like I didn't I didn't walk here. You feel me? Like I would have had to have some kind of itinerary to end up in Korea. And then the thing is, I'm at a different airport to go to Jeju than the one I flew into when I came in from Dallas. So she kind of just gave me a hard time and it was kind of a bus kill, but I'm through airport security. My bag in airport security did go off, but that's because I have keys in my bag. And so that's that. But other than that, like I'm good, I'm straight. So now I'm about to go towards the gate and see if I can find a drink because I need a drink all right so anyways this is loud and soul last and final day peace uh, pennies and pants so the American that likes alcohol before a flight can't get that right now but I did get this apple mango latte and it's actually really delicious and very very um, refreshing so I'm actually really enjoying it because I was actually really thirsty I have another like hour and change before um, my flight boards, but I'm glad I got here early after all of the drama because, um, like I said, that lady at the check-in counter was just being weird towards me because um, I'm a foreigner. So hopefully I don't have any pre more issues or whatever, but I know I'm going to have to definitely put aside a budget to continue paying for all these oversized bags because... I'm probably gonna have to pay for it when I come back from Jeju to Seoul, and then I'm probably gonna have to pay again when I go from Seoul to Dallas, um, which is fine. But um, I'm just probably going to try to get me some Korean won from the ATM or something, so that when I do have to pay on the way back, I can pay in won and not on, in USD on my card for the rent and stuff that I was talking about earlier. But this drink is really good, so I'm really enjoying it. And for whatever reason, I'm really fascinating a lot of older Korean people right now because they keep just bowing and waving at me. Like, I just think it's so funny. Like, I was sitting here just enjoying my drink, older Korean woman, and whoever she was with just, like, waved, and I waved back. I was like, this is hilarious because I'm genuinely in a very... Um, you know, like, the, I think this, this airport, Gimpo, is more like, especially because I'm in the domestic terminal, where you're flying within Korea, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was going in an international terminal for an international flight, there would obviously be um, more foreigners, but because I'm in the domestic terminal, which let me flip the camera, like, not talking to y'all through the drink. Yeah, so if I was in the international terminal, where there would clearly be you know, more foreigners flying back to wherever they were from, that would make sense. But obviously I'm in the domestic terminal because I'm flying within Korea to Jeju. So, yeah, but I don't know, the lady was just being super duper weird. Like she was like jerking my passport out my hand, jerking my phone out my hand. And she like was like, where's your itinerary? And I was like, what are you talking about? I have my boarding pass right here. And then she's like, no, from where you came from. And then I'm just looking at her like, Lady, do you realize I'm in Seoul, South Korea right now? How on the earth would I get to Seoul, South Korea without a flight? How would I have gotten here, ma'am? I didn't walk to Seoul. I didn't swim. Got on a plane. <laughs> like, that shit was weird. And apparently that's like the airline's policy, but I was just like, 
how would you have gotten to Korea without a flight? I get that airlines have to have policies. Then she's like, well, you're going to have to pay for this oversize. And I was like, okay. Then Max is going to judge you, so bring it up. I'm that bougie black girl, pennies and pens. But yeah, waiting for the flight to leave and just chilling and sipping on this drink. And glad to kind of be taking a sip of this drink so I can take a break from wearing that mask. Because when you're like running around, that mask is so hot on your face. This drink is so refreshing. I'm just gonna chill on it. Well, and luckily the flight to Jeju is only like an hour and 10 minutes, so it's not a long flight. And get off that flight and go and live my best life. And then I'm definitely gonna take a cab. Oh, and even though I broke the rolly thing on the bag, there's still that other handle on it. And so I still can roll it. So that's fine. It's just not the long thing since I had broke that long thing. So I'll be okay. But yeah. Loud in Seoul. This is it, pennies and pens. I'm gonna briefly run through Seoul um, on my way back. Um, but that's about it. All right, peace.